One of the books that I really enjoy reading is called No One is Perfect. It was written by Hirutada Ototake, a Japanese man. The story is headed that when he was, uh, when he was born, the doctor and the nurses don't want to show him to the mother because he was born without arm and without leg and they're afraid that the mother will go into a shock because you know after birth he's still very weak so they keep delaying uh, showing him to the mother until about a month later when he showed the, this baby to the mother with no arm and no leg the mother did not get into a shock what the mother said, oh, how cute he is. You know the difference? You know why the mother said he was wonderful, he was cute? Because he loved them. You know, when we love people, we forget about their imperfection. When I was 25 years old, I decided to write a book. So I make a contract with the uh, publisher and they give me advance money. But uh, six months after the contract was signed, I still haven't done one single sheet of paper and I become very and very stressful because I'm a poor student and I cannot pay back the advance they give me. So my professor noticed me that I was very stressful and I explained to him why. He said, you know, I don't think I can do this. I don't think I can finish the book. He said, the problem with you, he said, is that you want to be perfect. And he was right, you know, this is my first book and I want to make sure it's the most perfect book ever written. He said, you know, this is your first book. Don't expect it to be perfect. There are many, many great writers in the world. They are not perfect, so don't expect to be perfect. So I learned from that. He said, just do what you can. So just write the way you think it should be written. So I did that. And within, uh, before the end of the year, I actually finished the book. It wasn't a great book. It wasn't, wasn't the bestseller in the world, but it was uh, okay, you know, it's, it sold quite a number of books. So I learned from that, and uh, you know, life is full of lessons. So in my second book, which is Operacy Book, I did not try to be perfect. In fact, I called the, the, the first book the ed Mistake Edition Number One, because I know that all good things must come from a series of mistakes. Perfection is an illusion. There is no such thing, you know. There is no such thing as a perfect husband or perfect wife. There is no such thing as a perfect children or a perfect boss. None of us perfect. In fact, if you were looking for a perfect husband or perfect wife, you will end up dying alone because there is no such thing. The most important thing is that People who expected to be perfect all the time tend to become unhappy. If you want to be perfect in everything that you do, you will be unhappy because there is not a such thing in the world. If you expect your children to be perfect, your husband and your wife to be perfect, if you want expected your staff to be perfect, you will create a lot of stress in the family and in the workplace. So we have to expect and accept that life is not perfect. The other impact of wanting to be perfect all the time is paralysis. Like as I explained, you know, when I wrote my first book, I want to be perfect, I couldn't do it. People who want to be perfect in what they do tend to do nothing. People who want to be a perfect trainer tend to never do any training at all. People who want to write a perfect book will not uh, write a book at all and prefer people who want to have a perfect marriage end up dying alone. Please understand that uh, we are not perfect no matter what we do we cannot be perfect because perfection don't belong to us. Perfection belongs to God. So leave, leave perfection to God where it belongs. But for you and I ordinary people just do the best we can. And, and if we do the best we can, that's enough. And if we do the best we can, we can become successful. So be gentle with ourselves. Be gentle with other people. Don't criticize them too much. Don't criticize ourselves too much. 
Don't expect us to be perfect. Just love ourselves enough. Thank you very much.